Young people in Toronto's Jane and Finch neighborhood often grow up in challenging circumstances affecting their emotional and mental well-being. But for nearly a year, one local program run out of the Black Creek Community Health Centre here at York Gate Mall has been providing youth with an outlet to express their feelings in the hopes that it may make a difference in their futures. I think and I do believe that a lot of what we see, um, the street violence nowadays is more mental health illness than anything else. And that's why Wayne Black and other community leaders started the Jane and Finch Wellness Advocates for Youth Project. Currently about five black youths and five mentors meet every other week here at the Black Creek Community Health Center. What we do, we highlight certain issues that these kids don't usually get to express in a, in a um, group setting with relatable people that they can reach out to. Black says the mentors aim to give young people the tools to deal with their problems in a healthy way. 21-year-old Shamari Stewart-Smith has participated in the program since the beginning. He says he's often felt misunderstood. I was an A student, you know. I always come out of class. Sometimes I'm missing classes because, like, I don't see that full-on help. If you're not getting the full attention, you're not getting the full learning, what are you going to do next? You're going to go to the streets, right? You're going to you're going to act out. You're going to do what you want to do. The events of this year alone have compounded already existing mental health trauma to those in the neighborhood. The Black Creek area continues to be one of the highest risk neighborhoods for COVID-19 transmission. Now, young people are heading back to the classroom at high risk schools. This in addition to ongoing gun violence and gang activity. You're talking about, um, you know, uh, uh, 270 dead school age kids in over a decade you know, mostly from poor racialized neighborhoods like Jenny Finch. So those are abnormalities, but, but for those kids, they're normalized realities. So how as a teacher or as a leader, as a parent, do I explain to my black child that these are abnormalities? 29-year-old Sheldon Keene says being in a place that's familiar, surrounded by people invested in his care, matters. It feels good, especially for my health. It feels a lot good still. Because if they didn't understand me, I wouldn't want to be here. The WAY program began late last year and recently received a federal grant of about $400,000 over two years to keep it going. But organizers say it needs more funding to reach more youth. In North York, Erica Natividad, City News.